What's up, gang guys? Brian here at 3TR, and I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you can tell from the title. Uh, it is currently noon. I actually just took a quick little nap after filming people's questions uh, 97 and playing a couple games. I wake up and I hear this news, so it is now official. We now have a Wonder Woman for Batman and Superman uh, for 2015. I just want to give my quick thoughts. Initially, I, I'm, I, I just want to say this with a grain of salt that my opinion may change, but with this information at this very moment, on this day, I'm not too happy with this decision for a number of reasons. Number one, I first off, I, 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 I'm looking at the goal right now on my computer here, and I, I can't even pronounce her name, I'm not even going to try. But apparently all I know is that she was in one of the Fast and Furious films. I don't know which one. I haven't seen... I, I've seen them each one time, and they're, they're all kind of forgettable for me. Just just stating that out. And just looking at her, physically, she doesn't look very intimidating. But that's not really a big problem. I'm sure that... I'm sure that she can bulk up, which, you know, I'm, I'm sure she will. But... The, the main the main reason the main reason I'm against this is because I don't really think she's as an established actor, and I'm actually having a a lot harder time trying to look past this and with the whole Ben Affleck being Batman thing. But Ben Affleck, he was an established actor who had had a history of film, and in recent times he's actually been shown to be a pretty damn good writer and director, and so he is a very well known person, and he definitely could pull off the look, and he's definitely bulking up to be Batman. With this, it's much harder, because what this tells me is that, I'm not basing this theory off of anything, but this is just what I believe is going to happen, that if they're serious about putting Wonder Woman in Batman and Superman, which apparently they've already chosen her, we're going to get a Wonder Woman movie 2016 for sure, and I'm not sure if she can carry a franchise on her own shoulders. There's a, even a, there's even a reasonable reasonable possibility that if she does terrible in Batman and Superman, maybe they'll recast her with someone else. I'm not sure. I'm not basing that off of anything. That's just my prediction. And another thing that I need to see is that the one of the one as you guys know, the DC Trinity has always been my all-time favorite trio of heroes. Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman are my one, two, and three favorite superheroes of all time between DC, Marvel, just between all the realms of comic books. So I would want to get these three characters done right. What I need to see in order for me to at least have some enthusiasm to actually buy this decision is I just need a shot of these three actors standing together. I could already picture Ben Affleck and Harry Cavill standing together as Batman and Superman. That works. But to put her in the middle, I gotta see that. Because when I think of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, I think of three team, three individuals that are very different but can easily stand together. We all know Batman could certainly handle himself against Superman, and we know Superman could handle himself against Batman more than handle himself. Wonder Woman is the one female superhero who, standing with Batman and Superman, she could hold her own, if not take down Batman and Superman. And just looking at her for right now, I'm not buying it. Now, again, this could change. Uh, I Just like Ben Affleck, I gotta see something first. Probably we're going to see something at next Comic-Con, which I've already applied for, and I'll be sure to give you guys an update if I am going or not. I, I, I'm going to bust my ass to make sure I try to go. And, I don't know, this is just, this, I mean, if it's already set in stone, then there's nothing more I can do. Nothing I'm going to say is going to change the decision, but I'm just a little bit worried now, because... Batman and Superman, we know so little about it already, and I would expect them, for a movie this big, for us to at least have little hints of things that are going to come in. One thing I don't want to happen, I'm not sure if this was a, uh, this, if this was planned, but I, if I recall, there's going to be two females for Batman and Superman. One's going to be a love interest, and one was probably maybe going to be Wonder Woman. I don't want Wonder Woman to be Batman's love interest. I think this works really well in the comic books. I thought it worked amazingly somewhat well in the animated series that was playing on Cartoon Network. I wouldn't want that to be a, a main thing in 
Batman and Superman. For Batman and Superman, I want it to be about these two characters. Now, you can make little hints about other characters, but bottom line, it's Batman and Superman. That's not what they're going to call it. It's going to be Man of Steel something, but that is who you need to focus on. You could have Wonder Woman in there as maybe her alter ego Diana. Maybe she won't be Wonder Woman. She'll be her alter ego, and then maybe we'll see like an end credit scene about her like being Wonder Woman. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm just hoping that if this is going to be our Wonder Woman, they keep her part relatively minimal. At least state that, yes, this is who Wonder Woman is, but we're not going to push it. We're going to keep our focus on Batman and Superman. We're going to give her her own movie afterwards, and then from that, we can then move into Justice League, and now we have seen her in Batman and Superman. We've seen her on her own. If she works, then we're ready to proceed with Justice League. But at this very moment, I'm not for it. I really would like to know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys think this was a good or bad decision? Are you just like me? You're going to wait till you see something concrete. We're going to see something of what she will bring to the Wonder Woman character, because I'm not really seeing anything. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, please like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check for me my future movie video game reviews and topic videos like this one. You can also press one of the links in the description down below to follow me on Twitter or friend me on Facebook. I will be sure to friend you and follow you back, and like always, thank you guys for watching, you're awesome, and I will see you next time.